Hello everyone, Lisa here aka Crafting Diva. Thank you so much for joining me on my YouTube channel today and yeah, super exciting to share another video for my brand new collaboration Tag Tuesday. Hope you've all had a wonderful Tuesday and thank you so much for joining me this evening for another video for my collaboration. If you're not aware of my collaboration, we're on video 5 and as you can see the title of my collaboration is called Tag Tuesday. If you follow the hashtag, hashtag tag tuesday it should take you to a page where you can see all sorts of different videos from me and the other wonderful talenting crafters that are joining in with my collaboration and also all links to their channel will be in my description box below so please go and check them out as every tuesday at 6 p.m me and the amazing talented crafters that are joining me are uploading tag themed projects to inspire you all yeah this is week five so i've been sending the ladies a different craft prompt or product to use on a tag design and upload their video for you on a Tuesday at 6 p.m. So in previous weeks we have done T for texture, A for apertures, G for green and last week we did T for travel so all links to my previous video will be in that description box so if you'd like to go back and check out these designs that I've done in my previous videos I'd love you to go and check those out and yes yeah, so today we are on the letter U because each week's letter prompt adds together to spell out the word tag tuesday so we're on the letter u and i sent the ladies the inspiration to make a tag on the theme of under the sea so i thought this would be a fun uh, project to make you could use anything you like i said stamps toppers cardstock dies papers anything they had stickers just as long as it was um the tag they upload is all under the same theme so hope there's lots of inspiration for you out there on under the sea projects hope you really enjoy watching all the ladies videos so without further ado the items i've used to make my tag is i thought i'd use some dies on my tag this time as i've done quite a few stamping tags so i thought i'd show you that you can also make a great tag design or off the page project or even a card using some lovely die cuts so i've used these dies here that are from a apple blossom collection that you can buy from craft stash if i can find a link to these i will put a link in the description box below with a affiliated link so if you do fancy buying yourself a set i will get a tiny little commission for your sale it doesn't add anything to the cost of your purchase but just gives me a little commission to say thank you for sharing the die so they're from apple blossom on craft stash so like i say if i can i'll leave a link to those in that description box below and then i've mixed with my design some of the wonderful stickers that i was so kindly sent for my recent uh, challenge giveaway i did so i've used some stickers on my design so without further ado here is the actual design i've made for today's tag tuesday under the sea theme what i've done again is took my plain white tag covered it in this gorgeous piece of pattern paper that had the fish already all on it and what i've done is fussy cut a few extra fish out and layered them up in the background of the paper just to make it that little bit more detailed then i went round the edge of my tag and sanded the edge of the tag to give it this soft white feel and then went round the edge with a uh, clear glitter glue to really make it sparkle then i die cutted all of my elements and layered some of them up with some gold mirror card behind to give them a nice shadow effect of shimmery like the waters hitting their backs of the elements so as you can see i've done my large seahorse and i've colored her with a mix of my tim holtz distress pens then i added some more glitter glue to the edge of that and then i've just put a nice clear gloss over the top of it and i painted it on the seahorse so she's very nice and shiny and glossy then i've layered all my little die cut seashells and seaweed to the bottom of my tag and again added lots of glitter glue this time i used some stickles gold glitter glue i've done a bit of a paint effect on some of the uh, seaweed die cuts as well just to give them that bit extra texture and again like i say i've matted some with mirror card behind or holographic card to really make them stand out 
got a nice little mixture of die cut shells some little sticker uh, shells that like I said I was so kindly sent and then I've just cut a grass die cut coloured it in a sort of soft sandy colour and then covered it in the gold glitter so it looks like it is the seabed and then for the finishing touches I've used this lovely sticker the adventure of begins added some nice little white pearls and then for the little bubbles of the fish I've used some um, 3d gloss just to make those stand out and sparkle slightly so as you can see this is my tag for today's prompt which is under the sea using die cuts papers mirror and holographic card and lots and lots of glitter and you can't go wrong without lots and lots of glitter to make your project sparkle and shine so i really hope you enjoyed having a look at my project for today's video like I say, please go and check all those ladies' videos out. Links to those will be in that description box below. There's going to be so much inspiration for you. Can't wait to see what everyone uploads using different products to follow the theme of Under the Sea. Like I say, if I possibly can, I'll link the dyes I've used in that description box as well. So if you'd like to go and see if you can purchase those for yourself because you like them. And yeah, links to my previous tag videos are in that description box as well don't forget to leave me a comment i'd love to know your thoughts on my collaboration are you really enjoying it uh, what do you think of my sea theme tag is it inspiring you to give dyes a go if you've never tried using dyes on your projects before i'd love to read any of your comments so feel free to leave them in the comments box below don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and if you're new to my channel please feel free to hit that subscribe button i hope this inspired you to have a look around my channel hope you enjoy some of the videos you um sit and watch and if you do please feel free to subscribe i love you to join my youtube family here uh yeah if you hit the little bell icon you'll get notifications on my brand new videos as well so yeah thank you so much for taking your time to watch this video everyone hope you got a little bit of inspiration and i look forward to seeing you next tuesday at 6 p.m when the theme we will be following is embossing so hope this is going to be one to inspire you because there's different ways you can add embossing to your tags we can do heat embossing dry embossing uh, vellum embossing all sorts of ways of adding embossing and texture to our projects so i really hope you're looking forward to seeing those videos and i'll see you all again next tuesday at 6 p.m thanks so much for watching this video and bye for now